What is up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade, and in today's video, we are going to be discussing what a computer system administrator is. And guys, we are going to also look at what the day in the life of a computer system administrator is as well. Welcome back to the Black Tie channel. We talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, do me a stone cold favor and stump that like button as it helps us grow the channel. And guys, we are going to jump directly into this one today. What is a computer systems administrator? Computer systems administrators are responsible for the upkeep, the configuration, and the reliable operations of a company's computer systems, especially multi-user computers such as servers. And they are also responsible for keeping all equipment in the IT infrastructure in the IT world for the company that they work for up to date with software. And companies depend on their networks just like we depend on our heart beating inside our body. So it makes sense that whenever there is a problem, it needs to be fixed correctly. And this is the role and the responsibility of a computer systems administrator. So what does a computer systems administrator do? A computer systems administrator is the first point of contact for a business when network users experience any sort of technological problems. So let me give you an example. So a computer systems administrator ensures that the internet connection in the office is working. And um, when there is, is a mail server running, uh, processing emails, if the server goes down uh, and you can't send any sort of emails, this is something that a computer systems administrator would check to make sure that the business or the people working for the business can actually send emails. And computer system administrators also gather information from network users in order to define and fix problems to troubleshoot hardware and software and work with uh, the vendors that they are um, working with to really look at this information and try to fix it and look at new technologies and how it can actually help the business. And computer system administrators really need to document various troubleshooting attempts in order to pinpoint the solution or the fix for the problem. So they are very good at troubleshooting. They need to be able to use tools to trace where problems are happening at and to be able to communicate that to vendors so that they can help pinpoint where the problem is happening at. And computer system administrators also make sure that the performance and the security of the computers or the servers that they manage meet the needs of the users without exceeding the company's overall budget. They may purchase, install, or upgrade computer components and the overall software that uh, is running on that component. And they provide routine uh, automation for uh, maintenance of these systems as well too. So if you ever see a Windows update come to your computer, this is something that your computer systems administrator has done and has triggered. They also maintain security policies and uh, troubleshoot uh, the staff issues that they're having uh, from a technology standpoint. And there are different types of computer systems administrators and um, you know, different ones have different roles and responsibilities. So there may be a server administrator and a server administrator really maintains the operating systems on the servers uh, so that um, you know, the mail services and the web services are all working and troubleshooting the hardware and the operating system or the applications related to the operating systems. And there's also a network administrator and a network administrator really is responsible for maintaining the network infrastructure such as routers and switches and uh, troubleshooting uh, any sort of network related problems. And another role of a computer systems administrator is a database administrator. And the database administrator is responsible for maintaining the database systems used by the company and the organization. And in bigger organizations, the database administrator is uh, specifically responsible for this role. But in smaller organizations, this role would normally be shared with the server administrator. And there's also the security systems administrator, which maintain daily operations of security systems. And they can handle things like system monitoring and running regular backups, uh, setting up and deleting and maintaining individual user accounts and developing organizational security procedures. Now, what is the workplace like for a computer systems administrator? Well, we are going to jump right into it with a video by push to prod we're going to review this video and talk through it guys now let's get to the video 
Hey everybody, my name is M. This is gonna be my first actual video on YouTube, and I want this video to be a more so day in life of an IT professional. Today is gonna be specifically based on system administration. Uh, with a little bit of security. My actual role is an infrastructure engineer, um, but every once in a while, you know, you gotta put on different hats. And so the security team, they just ran a huge vulnerability scan. I have that report, and I'm gonna go in there and patch and remediate all of these vulnerabilities. There are gonna be a lot of scripting that needs to be done. Um, there's also a lot of other things I have to take care of. There's a new process we came up with, and I wanna add an automated Slack message to that process. Um, so it's going to programmatically uh, send a message whenever a certain event takes place. I'm probably going to automate that using PowerShell. But today is going to be a very interesting, fun day. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record too much at work because uh, that is pretty tough and it's going to be busy. Um, but I'll try to record as much as I can. I'm already late. So let's go to the Miata, get out of here, get to work. It's a dope, dope Miata, and he has an HP laptop too. Got my book bag. Oh man, you can't go to work without the the, the the laptop and the camera. Nice neighborhood. He making that money. He's making some good money. What a fun car to drive to. I am super late right now. But this right here is just the. Uh... A little thing I found on the internet. The cup holder suck in the Miata, so you just put the cup behind the seat and it actually does a really good job. Ow, Eli. It's about to rip his shoulder in half. <laughs> <laughs> Dope music, by the way. Sora, what you working on? I am working on a status page for our services. And what part of that status page? Because I thought you guys were done. We're not done. We're working on the groupings. Uh, we have several services that can have subservices, and those subservices have to be able to tell the group whether it's up or down, or whether it's degraded, or if there's a partial outage. Hmm. What's going on, man? What's up, man? So what you got going on today? Not uh, much. Just uh, automating some stuff over here. Um, pretty much. Just trying to. Uh, is it system based or are you working with APIs? APIs, pretty much. Is it, well, what's the task? What is uh, it going to be doing? Uh, mostly just reporting, just building data out, and just you know, creating chat out of those things so we can present it to management. Make it out look nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty and much. What, uh, what language are you using? Uh, currently, it's just PowerShell because it's all Windows based. You know? So it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so but you've never really had issue finding documentation for PowerShell. No, it's it's a lot more easy because the, the resources are just enough. Like yeah, that the reason why I asked though is because on any top ten list you never see PowerShell. As I a mean I know like that, but yeah, so, no, you I'm don't not see that top, not the reason why you don't see it on the top probably top ten is because a lot of people are now evolving to better and not necessarily better languages. And PowerShell is now recently becoming the core language mm -hmm. where you can install it on all platforms. So eventually, it's going to catch up. Sounds so, good. Yeah. Right. Appreciate Hi, it. Man. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. Um, should I get in the server? You know what I love about this is that he's going around sharing uh, and asking people questions about what they do. And you also saw another brother who's actually in here in the IT world as well. It's always good to see good brothers working in IT or working in software or working in technology just in general. I'm in technology. I'm not in an IT role, although people would consider me to be in IT, but I'm actually in software sales. I've been in a role like this before as a software engineer 
implementation manager, tech lead, um, VP of customer support and customer success. And now I'm actually in sales, but it's good to see that people are starting their careers into the IT world and they can continue to grow up and climb the ladder with that because they're going to be making a good salary, learn a lot of new skills. And it's good to see brothers like this uh, in this position. And if you see the environment, the environment that he's actually in is like an open space work environment. Yeah, finding a solution to do that. So our challenge is we don't know the solution yet, but if we have a solution, then we can you know, all on that cluster side, that also pair, pair clusters. Yes. We'll have to do, so it will be like four iterations. But the superseded updates, yeah. yeah, so we were able to verify that a few of them, or well, a good amount of them that were showing up, Mm -hmm. uh, we went to the actual Microsoft catalog and saw the latest version that superseded that and went on the servers and confirmed that the servers had them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think it's that same issue we were having earlier yeah. this year. Yeah, uh, where some of them were still showing. Okay. Yeah, me and Jeremy, we should have finished that program we were making. Oh, to, yeah, whatever uh, happened to that? <laughs> all these other projects came oh, up. No. So, it's lunchtime. I'm going to go to the trail, walk around, and then probably go get some Chick fil A. And I chose the day that everybody decides to work from home. So it's kind of boring in the office a little bit today. Not too bad. Watching out for the bees. I actually got some screen capture of me scripting for the Slack notification. Uh, so I'm gonna try to add that on here. Hopefully the video doesn't get too long because I don't like wasting time, wasting people's time. But probably gonna try to set up here and shoot like some walk pass bys. Uh, it's too sunny out here. Really hot. I don't know why I walked the trail. And if you look at what he's doing here, he is scripting. And scripting is no different than programming. And he's looking like he's using uh, coding language such as PowerShell when he's actually scripting here as well, too. And which is really uh, easy to learn. So, again, programming is going to be something that you guys should take serious, especially if you are an MIS um, you know, an, an MIS major, take your programming serious because even though, you know, you may not be programming in C++, you're going to have to learn how to program in an SQL. You're going to learn how to, you know, program in some sort of PowerShell script. So take the programming very serious. As you can see, as a computer system administrator, you got to program every once in a while. It's important to get that exercise in during lunch, guys. Don't, you know, if, if, if you're going to have an hour lunch, try to spend at least 30 minutes getting a nice little walk in uh, either before your lunch or after your lunch. It helps you uh, with your digestion. So. <laughs> like you're burning up. <laughs> it's hot. All right, I'm gonna do a blade. It's cool. And so, what's your favorite thing about what you do? Um, like in the security world. No. And aren't you the? She was a DevOps engineer. All right, I'm gonna do a blade. Right. Listen, everybody. Abby came to the trail. Hey. Say hey, Abby. <laughs> so she is actually well. She was a DevOps engineer, but now you are a security engineer for with, cloud. Yeah, for like cloud and automation. And Open. aren't you the first one? Yeah, so oh, I do all the so stuff sorry. nobody else knows anything about. <laughs> Agree. So like in the security world, not many people know what I do. Uh, so it's really helpful because then I get to be an expert at 23. <laughs> yeah, that is really cool. <laughs> Which is cool. And so what's your favorite thing about what you do? Um, I don't know. Right now, it's a lot about like figuring out how to break things. <laughs> so when you're like, ooh, I can really break this thing. And you're like, this is terrible. We need to fix it but it also feels really good and she also makes demands on things that need to change <laughs> <laughs> well thanks abby yeah. i appreciate it
got out of a meeting and I have to go to this tournament for Mario Maker. I'm gonna lose because I'm not good. I made it to the second bracket, so. What a cool working environment when you can, you know, you, you have a, an ability to connect with your team members. The office environment is pretty open, although, you know, people can see all the work that you're actually doing. You have DevOps engineers, you have cloud engineers, you have, um, you know, infrastructure engineers. You have a whole list of people uh, that work in this office building from project managers to program managers to product managers. This is a a wide open environment. I wonder what this environment is going to be like after uh, COVID once people return back to the offices, but looks like he has a very good working relationship with this uh, company and the people that, you know, works at this company with him. And what we've seen so far has been absolutely fantastic. And what a, what a good, good, good um, example of, you know, the day in the life of computer systems administrator. And flexibility is key here as well, too. You can work in the office part of the day, work from home as well, too. And now, since COVID has happened, we can pretty much always work from home unless you want to that interactive environment. And I'm sure once everything kind of gets back to normal, um, you know, people will start to get back to the office because that it's a good feeling when you're in the office and working with people and talking to people. The work never ends, but sometimes that's fun. Welcome back, guys. I am back. I am refreshed. Um, when I got home, I didn't even log back in. I just wanted to rest a little bit. Then I went to the barber shop. Then went to the gym. Came back refreshed, got ready. And now it is time to get back to work. I'm hoping I can knock this out in an hour. Guys, it is really kind of slow, so I know that it's kind of getting clogged, but you feel the So it looks like he's getting back home after a nice uh, day and getting back to work. And that's the thing about IT, guys. There's always work to do. You can work as much as you want, or you can work as little as you want as long as your manager doesn't know that you're slacking. So it's a great field to be in and a computer systems administrator is a good role to have. Again, they make about $75,000 per year. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and hit the like button if you haven't done so already. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to help us continue to grow if you like this sort of content. And if you want to be notified when we drop additional content or new content, hit the notification bell. And until next time, y'all, peace.